We are 51 hours away from the draft. Here's what I think the Detroit Lions are going to do one last time. Hello, everyone. My name is Derek, and welcome back to Detroit Lions Syndicate. You already know what we do on this channel. We talk all things Detroit Lions, so subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are five away from 2,100, trying to make a miracle happen and get to 2,200 by Thursday. You know, I've seen stranger things, so subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, I got a comment yesterday. It said, I wear this shirt every video. Yes, I do. I only wear it for these videos, and trust me, it does see a washing machine. So I wanted to kind of... Have everybody relax. This is my uh, work shirt. We are two days away from the NFL draft, and we just got a couple more hours to get through before we know who the Detroit Lions are going to pick at number two and number 32, respectively, in the first rounds. And I've been saying this for a long time, man, what I think the Detroit Lions are going to do. And I'm just going to gonna go ahead and say it one last time after some things that I've seen today. I'm going to go ahead and put it out there one final time what I think the Detroit Lions are going to do at number two and number 32. When it comes to number two, the Detroit Lions have needed a solidified pass rush for a long time. And even though this draft is deep at pass rushers, there is no Miles Garrett. There is no Chase Young. There is no Nick Bosa. We do have edge rushers who can make an impact on the game. If you watch me for any amount of time, you know that winning is the most important thing to me when it comes to the Detroit Lions. It's not about a draft pick. It's about winning. I think you have to be able to draft correctly and win uh, through the draft. So it doesn't matter if you have the first pick, the second pick, or anything like that. You have to make the right pick, and that's what the most important part is. So I'd rather be a winner and draft correctly than a loser and draft incorrectly where that one player is not done. We've seen it happen with Matthew Stafford. He was not able to, to even win us a playoff game with the team that he had. So for me, I would take winning every day. And because we won, we wound up with the second overall pick. Nobody knew the Jacksonville Jaguars were going to upset the Indianapolis Colts, get Carson Wentz shipped to another team, and keep them from making the playoffs. So because of that, we're a number two, and I'm okay with that. And with that number two pick, I've, I've said this before, Brad Holmes wants to trade back. I think that's the number one thing. I just don't know if we're going to get the right offer to trade back or who's going to want to even come up. It's rumors coming out there from different sources that the first quarterback off the board might not be until the Pittsburgh Steelers at number 20. I don't believe that one bit. I think that is 100% smoke put out there by some of these teams to keep them off the scent of them maybe wanting a Malik Willis or a Kenny Pickett or whoever it is. But we will see last year we saw five quarterbacks come out in the first 15. And this year they're saying that we might not even see one until the 20th pick. So with that being said, I think the Detroit Lions will go edge rusher. I've been screaming about an edge rusher since I've been on this platform. And we has we have missed out on so many we missed out on Nick Bosa. We missed out on Chase Young. We've missed out on a lot of players, and I think that they will indeed take an edge rusher with that number two pick. Who do I think the pick will be? I think the pick will be Aiden Hutchinson, but there's reasoning behind that. I know that Brad Holmes does kind of have a fondness for Oregon Ducks, and rumors came out that the Lions are smitten with Kayvon Thibodeau. And then those same rumors say that Dan Campbell is not very fond of him. So you have a GM that might be and a coach that might not be fond of Kayvon Thibodeau. What I did is I saw something on Sports Illustrated that kind of, it really kind of cemented the fact to me that the Lions should take and I believe they're going to take Aiden if he's available. If he's not available, it could be Kayvon Thibodeau. But if Aiden Hutchinson is there at one, the reason I say that, based off this Sports Illustrated video, you can tell the difference between the two men. Kayvon Thibodeau is thinking about life beyond football, which is fantastic. You need to have a plan. But he's already making marketing deals, brand deals, things like that. His goal is to be beyond football. Aiden Hutchinson, you know what he said in his video? He said that he's going to be a quiet rookie who does more work and less talking. The two videos were so different in style and so different in purpose 
that I'm just like, there's no way that the Detroit Lions pass on Aiden Hutchinson. But one thing is true. Whoever they take at number two has to be a bona fide stud. He has to be able to produce. If you look at the numbers between a Nick Bosa in his first year and then the Chase Young, they are quite comparable. Nick having the better rookie year. But both of these guys are game changers. Do we have that individual? Can our selection at number two live up, who probably will be an edge rusher, can they live up? to those two gentlemen when it comes to pick 32 that's a lot trickier than the number two pick in my opinion it's been reports coming out that the lions could trade up to get a quarterback or a player that they really desire they could trade back and let somebody else come into the first round it is very hard to peg who they are going to take with this 32nd pick i don't have a particular player that they're going to take it's just too much out there that they could take. But I know that this team needs a safety. I know we need a linebacker and I know we need a wide receiver. So I'm, I'm, I'm really torn here as to what I think they're going to do. But if I had to absolutely pick one, I'm going to say it's got to be a linebacker. It's got to be a linebacker that we take at 32. I don't know if Nicobe Dean will be there. It, it really all depends and nobody has the answers for sure. But I do believe that the first three picks for the Detroit Lions will be edge rusher, safety, linebacker. I think we don't take a, a – I honestly believe that we don't take a wide receiver until probably the third round, and then we still need – we probably won't take a quarterback until the later rounds. Now, we don't have a fourth-round pick, so we have two-thirds, so it's possible. I've always said not to take a quarterback beyond – the third round, but it could be some guys that they see. I mean, this is their sole purpose is to watch these guys for years on end and be able to make the right selection for the team. So number 32 is a little bit out there, man. I, I, I just don't know. That one's very difficult to pay, but you never know. But we will know in about two days time who the Detroit Lions will select at both of those picks. And let's not forget, we have pick 34 as well. I just want to get out here and tell you what I think the Detroit Lions are going to do. Tomorrow we'll have a video about what someone else thinks they're going to do, and then that will take us to the NFL Draft. Don't forget, it will be held on my streaming channel, The Grid Iron Blitz. Everybody knows Grid, man, so go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to both channels so you won't miss the video. We'll be on with Mark Orm, Micro Mike, The Dern. I mean, everybody's going to be there, and I hope you are too. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Five away from 2100. Trying to make a, a, a beeline to 22 by the NFL Draft. But hey, the goal was originally 2000, and we hit it, so I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself, and the draft is almost here. So, as always, go Lions.